Is the government planning a fake alien invasion? Are they going to cover up the rapture and blame it on a mass UFO abduction? Or how about the face of all a weapon proposed by the United States military to fake a deity in the sky to control the armies and peoples in the Middle East? This is all tied to the rumored Project Blue Beam, and that's what we'll dive into in this video. In 2 Thessalonians 2, 9 through 11, God tells us of a strong delusion that's coming and that these people will believe the lie. In verse 11, it says the coming of the lawless one or the antichrist is according to the working of Satan with all power, signs, and lying wonders. And then in verse 11, it tells us, and for this reason, God will send them strong delusion that they should believe the lie. There'll be delusions all around in the last days. And that's where the theory came from, that Project Bluebeam will be used as a delusion to cover up the rapture. Project Bluebeam is a theory that was introduced by Canadian investigative journalist Serge Manast in the mid-1990s. The theory claims that members of the Pentagon, NASA, and the United Nations are collaborating on a plan to simulate a fake alien invasion or stage a second coming using hologram projections. Now this might seem totally crazy, but there's few videos of just public knowledge of 4D holograms that have come out recently that look extremely realistic. Here's videos of whales flying around in the crowd at a concert. You can see how realistic this looks, as well as this video that I saw recently on Instagram. I'm not sure if this is CGI, but even if it is in comparison to the last video, clearly we are not far off from having that advanced type of hologram technology. Serge Manas just proposed this theory, but as we can see, technology is advancing to this level. This reminded me of the video seven years ago of the floating city in the clouds. This was seen over China, and I remember at the time, people were claiming they were testing Project Blue Beam technology. This idea was being proposed by the United States Pentagon all the way back to the early 1990s. The scenario was proposed by United States Air Force planners during the Gulf conflict in which they wanted to project the face of Allah over the skies of Iraq to control the peoples and the armies. The idea was brought back to life and mentioned in an article in May 2008 titled, quote, The Face of Allah Weapon Returns. In the article, it says, Projecting the image of something frightening like a deity is not a new idea and falls in the footsteps of the Voice of God weapon, a device that some have suggested could be used to transmit messages into people's heads as if God were speaking to them. What if the United States projected a holographic image of Allah floating over Baghdad, urging the Iraqi people and army to rise up against Saddam? A senior Air Force officer asked in 1990. The holographic projector is described in a classified Air Force document as a system to project information for special operations deception missions. Another article from December 6, 2010, Military One Step Closer to Battlefield Holograms. This has led some people who believe in the pre-tribulation rapture to claim that governments will use this technology, fake an alien invasion, and blame all the Christians who have disappeared in the rapture on mass alien abductions. Luke 17, 34 says, I tell you on that night, two people will be in one bed, one will be taken and the other left. 1 Thessalonians 4, 17 says, Then we who are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and thus we shall always be with the Lord. The rapture is undeniable in my opinion. It's just the timeline of it. Is it pre, mid, or post-tribulation? That's what the main debate is about. Now, while the technology for holographic projections is clearly on the way to being to that level, the, quote, voice of God weapon has already been created. The LRAD system, which is used to cast strong signals and crowd dispersion, can also be used to send messages long distances. I'll play a video of the CEO, Woody Norris, describing the Voice of God weapon and what it can do when it first came out. So again, this idea of being able to put sound anywhere you want to is really starting to catch on. It also works for transmitting and communicating data. It also works five times better underwater. Uh, we've got the military had just deployed some of these into Iraq where you can put fake troop movements a quarter of a mile away on a hillside. <laughs> or you can whisper in the ear of a supposed terrorist some biblical verse. <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> and they have these infrared devices that can look at their countenance and see a fraction of a degree Kelvin in temperature shift from 100 yards away when they play this thing. And so another way of hope, hopefully determining who's friendly and who isn't. Uh, we make a version of this which puts out 155 decibels. Pain is 120. 
So it allows you to go nearly a mile away and communicate with people and there can be a public beach just off to the side and they don't even know it's turned on. We sell those to the military presently for about $70,000 and they're buying them as fast as we can make them. So we know we have the technology for the Voice of God weapon. We're definitely getting or have the technology on the holograms in the sky. Now all we would need is the public accepting the UFO phenomenon and what do we have now recently? Well, even the United States Pentagon admits that UFOs or UAPs in their new terminology are flying around in the United States airspace. They are not our own crafts and they're doing maneuvers that we just cannot do with our aircrafts. May 17th, 2022, United States officials say Pentagon committed to understanding UFO origins. Every few months at this point, it seems we're seeing new UFO footage and the concept of an alien threat has been in movies and books for decades now. Some would argue that's a level of predictive programming. Even Ronald Reagan in 1987 mentioned an alien threat in his UN speech. Perhaps we need some outside universal threat to make us recognize this common bound. I occasionally think how quickly our differences worldwide would vanish if we were facing an alien threat from outside this world. It's absolutely undeniable that we have the technology to fake this type of thing. We could fake a rapture, fake an alien invasion. Technology just keeps growing more and more. And some of these subjects, when you research it on the holograms and the face of all the technology, this type of thing, there's not millions and millions of articles on it like there is on every other subject in the world. So it seems as if that's a type of technology that the public really isn't supposed to fully know about. Even though, of course, clearly we have this level of technology. Whatever the things are that are flying in the sky, I don't believe that these are Project Blue Bean Crafts. I know there's an evil force behind that. I'll leave a linked video in the description that I recently made discussing how these things are a spiritual phenomenon and they're an evil force to be reckoned with truly, something that is absolutely increasing more and more and will play some role in the end times deception, I'm almost sure of that. But we're seeing how these possibilities all could come to play. Right now, they're really theories. We shouldn't believe anything until we know something's absolutely true. God gives us wisdom and discernment, but it's still interesting to look into these things and try to understand them as they're unfolding. But as a believer and a Christian and a person in the world, I think 1 Corinthians 13.2 is the most important thing to truly focus on always as our life as a Christian. And that says, and though I have the gift of prophecy and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and though I have all faith so that I could remove mountains, but have not love, I am nothing. So even if you have the gift of prophecy, you understand all these mysteries and all the knowledge of the world and know exactly what's happening and all these different theories. Even if you have a great faith that can move mountains, it doesn't even matter if you do not have love and you're not showing love to one another. Jesus said, people will know that we are followers of him by the love that we have for one another. So make that a primary focus in your life. It's super important to God. Keep God first, seek him and his righteousness above all things and all these things will be added to you. Matthew 6:33. Let me know what you think in the comments. Will they fake an alien invasion? Will there be a real alien invasion of the spiritual realm coming through and whatever those things are flying around? And what's your opinion on when the rapture will happen? Will it be pre, mid, or post-tribulation? I'm sure the Lord will continue to unveil all things to those following him as the times unfold. He says he reveals all things to his prophets before he does them, so God does reveal things to us as time goes on. I believe that's why mass understandings come around. Let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks for watching and God bless.